if you want to do something by C sharp, you can do it anyway. But the issue is that sometimes you can find a better way. One of the things that is so helpful to implement a business or series of formulas or activities is method chaining in C sharp. Method chaining is not C sharp specific. You can do it in any language, but we are going to talk about C sharp in this clip. Let's see what is method chaining. Method chaining is a technique in which methods are called on a sequence to form a chain. And each of these methods return an instance of a class. The rest is an explanation. You can read it from your screen. Let's see something familiar. If you are familiar with link, you have always used where, for example, or order by, or such things. It's kind of method chaining. See, you're gonna use this where against author list, order by again on the result of where. So whatever this where condition returns would be affected by order by and again to list. As usual, I'm not going to talk that much. We are gonna jump to Visual Studio and see something in action. So let's go. Let me explain at first. I have a taxpayer entity model, something like that. Taxpayer ID, tax number, name, email, phone, address, city, state, salary, deduction, these things. It is a simple entity. Okay? If I come to the infra that I already created, we have taxpayer activities. There is an inheritance from taxpayer entity. And then as you can see, I have an init method. It checks the taxpayer ID. If it was empty, we gonna generate something new. How could I generate? I have created a simple method which gets the length and generates me random string. Okay? The body of, for example, init method is in your hands. This is my logic. My default salary is 1000 deduction 10, but it returns this. This means the whole taxpayer activities. And then I have some methods to validate tax number, search by tax number, calculate tax, tax submission, tax refund, and these things. Each can have its own body. All are void. Okay? So now, let's go and have a look. I have generated a new tax number. It can be tax number also. Let me change it to tax number because I am generating tax number. No difference. Both are a string. Okay. And then taxpayer activities like this. So this is an instance from taxpayer activities. And then I can say in it, I have called initialize method, then validate tax number, then calculate tax, 
then tax submission then tax refund so this is something a little bit fishy smelly so what is the solution the thing that we are going to talk about i have created another class and called it taxpayer chain of activities like this again same as before there is an inheritance from taxpayer and then this part is the same it returns the whole class but the rest are different all returns taxpayer chain of activities like this so after applying the body i'm going to return this means the whole object again for the next one for the next one for the next one all of them returns this means the whole object so how can i use this since i already changed this variable to tax number at first i have to fix this small problem then an instance from taxpayer chain of activities like this and then as you can see taxpayer chain of activities dot initialize validate calculate tax submission tax refund like this so like link queries for example that we all are familiar with i can make a chain of activities to apply a business against an object i can even make it simpler you, you try yourself to not to be forced to enter the tax number so then the body or the input parameter for the methods can be nothing but the result would be the same try to do that and comment it out in youtube for me thank you so much and continue coding